Okay, well, after uh, much scrubbing of the Brillo pad and uh, the alcohol, you can see that the uh, big fat lines where I had the nail polish came out just fine. Um, these lines here in the middle uh, where I used the uh, Sharpie, those are, those are all messed up. They're not going to work for anything. Those were the Radio Shack rub-on decal things. Again, those were really old, so I have no idea if that's... I don't even know if they make them anymore. And here was me using an iron to uh, transfer a laser-printed circuit from uh, fritzing uh, onto the circuit board from a printed piece of paper. And again, that paper was kind of a glossy... Um, kind of a waxy coating on it. Uh, I think that worked out real well. There are only a couple of spots there that are that are messed up and that was just because I wasn't being real careful with the iron. I was, this is the first time I've done this. I just wanted to see how it turned out. Um, if you try this, be super careful. I am not advocating you try this. I will put a link to the site where um, uh, where I got the information on making the acid bath uh, I used for this big circuit board I used um, what one cup of hydrogen peroxide and a half a cup of muriatic acid took roughly 40 45 minutes for it to etch this whole big board this is I think a 6x4 board um, good stuff